starving that they didn't feed properly. But that's a different situation. Like that one too. Huh? <laughs> No, why would they put a baby there? Oh why my god, it's not a big deal. Because <coughs> he's all puffed up and all. Because he's all puffy. Because you want to see that, you know, it can happen in anyone. They're more sensitive, actually, than anybody else. The liver, <clears throat> we talked a little bit about it before. You can read that. Portal uh, circulation. Hepatitis, inflammation of the hepatic cells. We have A, B, C, okay? Fulminant, um, you have uh, prodromal phase, icteric phase, and recovery phase. You can read what those are. Hepatitic, uh, hepatitis A, fecal oral, um, usually in your food. Remember, IgM means that you have it. IgG means that it's gone, okay? So if they give you lab values, and they ask you and uh, they tell you that the IgM is positive and the IgG is negative, that means that they actually have a very, uh, hepatitis A um, active infection. If they give you a um, serology and they show you that the IgM is negative and the IgG is positive, that means that they've had hepatitis B in the past and it's now no longer active. <laughs> Hepatitis B, same thing. Um, you have the IgM, IgG. Um, there's a, uh, hepatitis B is a little bit more complex, though. They have IgM, IgG, Ig, everything else. You have to go through that. Um, major contributor to hepatic um, cirrhosis and hepato hepatocellular cancer. Vaccine <coughs> is available. Hepatitis C. There was no treatment. Now there is treatment, um, so you can be treated for hepatitis C with good results. Uh, I can't remember the name of the drug, but... Um, My dad had it when he was, uh, when he was young in Cuba, but uh -huh. he doesn't know which one. Is there a way to figure out which one he had? Do serology. Okay. Hepatitis D, I've never seen anybody who has it. Hepatitis E is oral fecal again. Hepatitis G is parenteral from STDs. Cirrhosis, inflammatory or structural fibrosis of the liver. Portal hypertension, we talked about what that looks like. This is what cirrhosis and portal hypertension can look like. It just looks horrible. Causes, you can look at that. We talked about that. So I will try sending you a quiz in the next few days so that you can review a little bit. Uh, I'd like for you to review a little bit of endocrine and a little bit of GI. The pediatric GI diseases, I'm not going to question you on, so don't even worry about it. But there is a video on there uh, for those of you who, very, who are very enthusiastic about learning and you want to just go through that. How about kids? Um, Huh? But if you if you feel like you want to do that, it's it's really an option that's available to you. Um, so I'll send you a quiz on endocrine and GI, um, so that you can do those and review your um, your notes. A lot of it we do give you repeated questions, so some of it you're gonna see that you've seen before. Um, you're gonna have some. <laughs> course like this content that you have not seen. Um, I will try to put the disease processes with the drugs so that you can make the questions a little bit simpler and you don't have to go um, searching and killing yourself. Um, but I think it's going to be very doable. I think as long as you guys have been performed, you guys have been performing stellar on your exams, I think you will do just fine. That's for the final, right? That's for the final. And if all else fails and you failed it the first time, which I hope none of you do, you have one opportunity to retake. You have a passing, but you don't have to do the overall. Huh? Like, say you fail it, which I don't think it's right, but and your overall grade is still passing. Then you don't have to. I'm not fighting failing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but if you, like, let's say you have 
curious. In the class. Just for curiosity. Yeah. So we don't have to get a BN above no. in the final? No. Mm -hmm. no. I don't want you to get a anything below a no. <laughs> no. No. Nobody, Nobody wants to fail. No. Nobody, Nobody wants to fail. Just 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 no, you need to get an 80% of all exams together. It's only if you like fail. It's only if you fail the final, if you're failing the class and you have a lower grade, you have to get an 80 and all your exams cumulative. Yeah. Okay. It's telling you that in order to pass the final, you have to get an 80. But you don't have to pass the final to pass the class. That's what the verbiage should be saying. The verbiage is saying that you need an 80 to pass the final. So but you don't need to pass the final to pass the class. So if you have a 79 and you had an A in the class, you're probably passing the class anyways. It's going to be 100 questions, right? 100 questions. And I would love to be here with you, but I don't think I'm going to be because they have something... They have um, some kind of um Why? no they have um somebody proctoring it there. Because they have something that day. In here? In here? Yeah, you're gonna be here. That's and you're not gonna be here? Where you chocolate cake. I know. I was gonna bring a chocolate cake.